Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to cover how to solve multi-step equations. So this is for our first unit. Um, you should have your notebook open. You guys um, can follow along with me. Um, we're going to cover a few different questions. Um, we're going to start with something simple and we'll get harder as we go along. So here's question one. I have 8x plus 16 minus 5x equals negative 29. So the first thing that we're going to do is think about PEMDAS. So we're going to see, do we need to distribute anything? I don't see any parentheses, so we don't have to distribute. However, I need to be paying attention after that to if we have any um, com um, like terms. So I look around on each side and I go, okay, there's an 8x. So is there another x? Well, there's another x right there. I do need to take that subtraction symbol with me. That's going to um, make it into a negative 5 versus a positive 5. So I'm going to take those two numbers and I'm going to subtract them. So 8 minus 5x um, gives me a 3x. I didn't touch the 16, so I'm just going to bring that down. And then I'm going to bring that negative 29 down as well. From there, this is a normal two-step equation. We you covered this you know, before. So I'm going to put my upside down t. I'm going to notice, OK, here's my x. I need to subtract the 16 over so that I can cross them out. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 16. My 3x comes down because I didn't do anything with it. I'm going to subtract 16 minus 16. I'm going to say that equals. And then I'm going to pay attention to both of my numbers. Now, both of them are negative. So I know it's going to be same sign, add, and keep. So I'm going to add these numbers up. So 9 plus 6, 14, carry the 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be negative 45. Remember, whenever I have a number next to a variable, we're going to pretend that my little laser pointer is a multiplication sign. And I'm going to multiply 3 times x. When I do that, <clears throat> um, I think, what's the opposite of multiply? Well, the opposite of multiply is to divide. So I'm going to divide both of these by the number in front, which is our coefficient. So our coefficient is 3. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. From there, 3 divided by 3 gives me a 1. So I can bring down my x. I have that set equal. 3 goes into 45 15 times. And since it's a negative and a positive, my answer is going to be negative. So my answer is negative. Um, x equals negative 15. So if you need to pause the video to copy this down, you guys can. So I'm going to pause for about like a couple of seconds so that you guys can pause. And then I'm just going to keep going after that. For question two, it's very similar to question one. Again, we're looking to see what if we have any parentheses. We don't. Um, but we do have like terms, so I'm going to look and see what are my like terms. In this case, it's going to be I have a 2b and a negative 8b. So I'm going, I would suggest highlight it or underline it or box it like I did so that you guys can directly see, oh, these two pieces are my like terms, two, three, whatever, however many pieces it is, or terms, I should say. So 2b minus 8b. Different signs, so I'm going to subtract. 8 minus 2 is 6, but because the 8 is bigger, we're going to have a negative 6. I didn't do anything with my 3, so I'm going to bring that down. Equals 8. And now, again, we have a two-step equation. Um, I notice that I'm going to have to move this 3 over because those would be like terms. So I'm going to take this 3, and I'm going to do the opposite, which is a subtract 3 from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 3. I'm going to bring down my negative 6b. My 3 and negative 3 cancel each other out, so I get a 0. Equals 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 gives me a 5. From here, I think again, OK, I need to get rid of this negative 6. How do I do that? Well, I'm not adding. I am going to be dividing, though, since this means I'm multiplying these two numbers. So I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 6. Please do not forget that negative. Um, negative 6 divided by negative 6 gives me a 1. My b stays by itself. Equals. Now, here is a trick. 
five and negative six. I can't evenly um, divide both of them. Please do not put it as a decimal and put that into your calculator and go, oh, it's this. We're gonna just leave it like that. Negative five over six, that negative sign can either be on the top, on the bottom, or like I have it here right in between them on the side. So then my answer is a fraction. It's okay to have fractions, it's no big deal. All right, for question three. Now, I know that this might look weird, but we solve it the same way. It doesn't matter that our number, it, you know, like before we had it on the right side, now we have it on the left. It's no big deal, we still solve, solve it the same way. So, um, <clears throat> I don't do anything to the 35 yet because I have to deal with the right side first. And I'm gonna go, okay, do I have any distribution? No, I don't. Do I have any like terms? Well, I have this seven Y and I have this 13 Y. Okay, so I can combine both of those. I have seven Y and 13 Y, both of them are positive, so I can add them up. Seven plus 13 gives me a 20 Y. Nothing happened to this negative five, so I just bring it down. And then I look at the 35 and see what matches. What matches is this positive five, or this negative five, so we're gonna add five to both sides to cancel it out. 35 plus five gives me a 40 equals my 20 Y, nothing happened to that. Negative five plus five, that just means it cancels out. So I'm gonna get rid of it. From here, I look at my variable and I'm like, okay, there's my coefficient. My coefficient is 20. So I'm gonna divide both of them by 20. And then I do 20 goes into 40, 20 goes into 42 times. And that equals y, because 20 divided by 20 is one. So my answer is y equals 20. Again, does it matter that it's written like that? No, it doesn't. It could be written like that, or you could have flipped everything you know, around, as long as you pay attention to the signs, all right? Okay. Question four. Now, question four, we're going to go one step further. I did have you guys thinking about um, combining like terms. Now we're going to switch over and we're going to add that distribution instead. So I'm going to distribute. Distributing just means that I'm going to be multiply everything inside that parentheses by the number on the outside. So I have a negative two. Everything inside needs to be partnered up with it. So I'm going to do negative two times three. Negative two times three gives me a negative six. And negative two times a negative k. A negative and negative gives me a positive. So I'm gonna have a positive 2k. The reason why my answer went away is because I don't have to worry about that side yet. I you know, wanna focus on just what we're doing right now. Um, but now that we distributed everything, I can make sure that this negative 30, or uh, this um, the 30 comes back. So I'm gonna bring that back. And now we have a normal two-step equation. Again, here is my variable. So I'm going to look at my constant. I have a negative six, so I'm going to move that piece. In order to move my negative six, I'm going to be adding six to both sides. Negative six plus six, just cancel out, gives me a zero. Nothing happened to my 2K, so it comes down. Equals 30 plus six, gives me a 36. Again, I have a two as my coefficient, so I'm going to divide both sides by two. My twos go away, they become one. So two divided by two gives me a one. So I'm left with a K. And two goes into 36, 18 times. So then my answer is K equals 18. So again, distribute negative two times three gives me a negative six. Negative two times a negative K, negative and negative give me a positive. Two times K gives me a two K. And then I just move everything like we did before. Add six to both sides, I get 2K. 30 plus six gives me a 36. Divide both sides by two and I get K equals 18. In this question, we're gonna be combining both of the things that we just learned. So here's my equation. I always think parentheses first. So I'm going to um, only focus on that piece. So I'm gonna make sure everything else goes away. I don't have to worry about anything else right now. I just need to focus on the parentheses part first. 
So I have negative five times X, negative five times X is a negative five. Um, and then negative five times a positive six, a negative and a positive gives me a negative. Five times six gives me a 30. From here, I can bring my pieces back. So I'm gonna bring those two pieces back because now I do need to pay attention to them. So I'm gonna bring those down. I'm gonna think, okay, I already did my parentheses. I did my distributive uh, distribution. Is there any like terms? Yeah, so I have a nine X here and I have a negative five. Nothing else on this side. So I'm going to subtract since they're different. Nine minus five gives me a four X minus 30 equals negative 14. <clears throat> Again, this is a normal two-step equation. I have a negative 30 here. So I'm gonna add 30 to both sides. I bring down my four X, my 30s go away. And that equals 16. So 30 minus 14 is 16. Since 30 is bigger, my 16 is going to be positive. From here, we're going to um, sorry divide both sides by 4. And I'm going to get x equals 4 goes into 16 four times. So then my answer is 4. So quick preview again, or review. When I have an equation like this, I always need to make sure that my parentheses are solved first. So I don't do anything with my 9x. But negative 5, again, that subtraction symbol means that this 5a is negative. So negative 5 times x is a negative 5x. Negative 5 times a positive 6 is a negative 30. And then the 14 just comes down. From here, I just combine like terms. 9 minus 5 is 4x bring down my negative 30 um and then my 14 negative 14. add 30 to both sides i get 4x equals 16 divide both sides by 4 and i get x equals 4. all right let's do that one more time so here's my equation now for this one again we're going to get rid of the numbers on the side so let's get that taken care of However, what I want you guys to think is there's this little negative right here. How do I take care of this? So like what number can be right here to help out this negative symbol? So what we really have there is that I have a I have a invisible one. So I'm going to multiply negative 1 times n gives me a negative 1n. Then I multiply negative one times a negative two, negative and negative gives me a positive. So I have a positive two. From here, I can bring my pieces back and I can bring them down. So I bring down my seven N, I bring down my negative 34. Again, from here, once we've done parentheses, we do combining like terms. So I'm gonna look and see, okay, what like terms do I have? Well, the negative 34, that's just gonna stay in the front. And then I'm going to see, okay, well, I have this N and this N. So I have a negative 1N and I have a positive 7N. Well, there are different signs. So we're going to subtract 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. And since 7 is bigger, our 6 is going to stay positive. And then I bring down that positive 2. From here, again, normal two-step equation. I have this positive 2. I'm going to subtract both sides by 2. Same sign, add and keep. So 34 plus 2. 34 plus 2 gives me a 36. Since they're both the same sign, we're going to keep that sign. So it's going to be negative 36. Equals 6n. We're going to bring that down. My 2 minus 2 just turns into a 0. Divide both sides by 6. And I get 6 goes into 36, negative 6 times, because a negative and a positive give me a negative. And that equals n. So n equals negative 6. So again, how did I do that? I'm going to put a 1 right here just as a placeholder to distribute this negative. So a negative 1 times n gives me a negative 1n. A negative 1 times a negative 2 gives me a positive 2. 
bring down my 7n, bring down my negative 34. Combine like terms, so negative 1n plus 7n gives me 6n, because 7 minus 1 gives me 6. 7 is bigger, so the 6 is positive. Bring down my 2, bring down negative 34. From there, I can subtract 2 from both sides. I get negative 34 minus 2. So uh, same sign, we're going to add and keep. 34 minus 2 is 36. Divide both sides by 6, and n equals negative 6. All right, two more slides. So for this one, <clears throat> it has that lovely thing called a fraction that I know all of you guys love. Um, however, I want to make your life a little bit easier. Remember how I told you guys how to get rid of a fraction? Well, we can use that same thing to try and make our lives a little easier when it comes to these type of equations. So instead of having to distribute both of these by a three-fourths, what we can do is we can take the denominator, the number on the bottom of our fraction, and we're going to multiply all of our terms by that number. So since I have a 4 on the bottom, we're going to multiply everything by 4. So what does that mean? I'm going to multiply 4 times 24. 4 times 24 gives me 96. And that equals 4 goes into 34. Now, when I'm doing that, let me switch my pointer into a pen. So 4 and 20, whoops, 4 and 24 gives me 96. But when I do 4 times um, 3 over 4, what that does is that this 4 and this 4 kind of cancel each other out. And we're only left with the number on the top. And nothing happens to this guy. So even though it's here, these two pieces are being multiplied together. So once I touch the fraction, this is connected to it, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm, it's just like as if it was the numbers on the top. So I'm just going to leave it as 3x plus 7. So again, whatever number, and let me erase this. Again, whatever number, 4 times 24 gives me 96. And whatever number we have on the bottom, that's what we're multiplying by. When I distribute 4 to the 3 fourths, this piece is connected to it, so I don't have to touch it. If there was a plus sign or a minus sign, then yes, I, this needs to be multiplied. But since it's being multiplied together, then I don't have to worry about it. Um, so, um, yeah. From here, I can distribute. 96 comes down equals 3 times x gives me a 3x. Three, 3 times 7, 3 times 7 gives me 21. And just like always, upside down t, I'm going to subtract 21 from both sides. 96 minus 21 is 75 equals 3x. My 21s go away. Divide both sides by 3. 3 goes into 75 25 times, and that's what x equals. So this is probably going to be the hardest part for you guys, is seeing the differences um, between this piece. But... Once you get the hang of it, it should be a lot easier. And we're going to do a couple of examples. So the next one deals with the same thing. So let's do it one more time. So here's my equation. Again, what number do I have on the bottom? I have a 3. But remember how I said if there's a negative that's attached to the fraction, might as well get it taken care of at the very beginning. So that's what we're going to do again. We're going to multiply everything by a negative 3. Again, that's because the denominator is 3. There's a negative right here, so I just want to get rid of it. So then let's distribute. And we're going to do 3, oops, 3 times, negative 3 times 12 gives me a negative 36. 3 times a negative 1 third. 
again, that just means my two goes, my three goes away and I'm left with just the one and my parentheses. So one G plus two. Well, all that really means is that this one, like I can say one times G is one G and then one times two is two. I can do it like that. Or I could have just made this piece go away and get rid of my, you know, um, parentheses and it could have been this fine. If this would have been a negative, then I wouldn't want to do that. Then I would have to distribute. But other than that, I don't have to. So again, same thing like always, subtract two from both sides, same sign, so add and keep, negative 36 and a negative two. So negative 36 and a negative two, same sign, add and keep. So 38, negative 38 equals, well, since these two went away and I just have a one G, that just means it's G. So then G just equals negative 38. So again, whatever number you have on the bottom of your fraction, multiply everything by that. Negative, and if you have a negative, make that go away too. Negative three times 12 gives me a negative 36. Negative three times negative one, one third. That just means this three and the negative go away and you're left whatever is on the top. And since this is being multiplied to it, that goes along with it. Again, it's just as if that was all on the top and we don't touch the top. Um, from here, I can do a basic distribution and then simplify it. And then we're done. All right, guys, thank you for everything, and I will see you guys later.